Hello everyone, today Sock Casey is going to make some fantastic artwork and then put it on her own website, all thanks to the sponsor of this video, Wix. So thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring this video. So let's make some really awesome artwork and then put it up for sale on my very own website. But Casey, you're probably thinking, you already post your art on so many different social medias. Why do you need a website? It's true that social media is a great place to show off your art, but I think it's really important to have your own website where you display your own stuff, especially if you're looking for a job. As a graphic designer, I have certainly taken some web design classes that were not my cup of tea. They involved a lot of coding that I was not a fan of, but thankfully I can make a website just like that. It's really important to have a website where you can put your online portfolio because as great as degrees are for getting a job, I think your portfolio is the most important part when it comes to applying to companies. Especially in today's modern age where everything is online, people are getting jobs from social media, they're even making fan art and getting noticed by companies, and that's great, but you can't depend on people noticing you. You have to put yourself out there, which is why you need a website. There are a few advantages to a website over social media. Number one, it looks professional. Social media platforms are great, but you need a clean, professional place to put your work where you also aren't posting those questionable ship drawings. You don't normally want companies to look inside your personal life where you post rants and rambles about things. You want a place where you could just put your art, a little blurb about yourself, and just let the company know who you are. This also improves your visibility. Again, social media is great for getting out there, but when your attention is divided between hundreds of other people on a website, it's easy to get lost in the crowd. Sure, it's an easy way to get noticed, but having your own website linked on those accounts can really help. Again, it's just very professional. You can also more easily introduce yourself, I think, on a website than you can on social media. You only have a very small profile in your picture on social media, but on a website you can have a whole page dedicated to who you are and what you stand for. You aren't limited to those 140 characters, or I guess it's 280 now, huh? And of course you have the freedom to decorate your website any way you want. It's gonna look so cute, or it's gonna look so cool. You can do whatever you want with it. You can post videos, downloadable files, links, GIFs, animations, whatever. You can put butts all over it. Who cares? Well, a company that was going to hire you might care, but you didn't want to work for a company that won't let you draw butts, huh? Anyways, I have a confession to make. I graduated with a degree in graphic design, but to be honest, I never made myself a website. I'm a horrible role model, but I'm excited it's finally going to happen. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's create my website. Right away, it asks what kind of website you want to create. I think I do want to focus on the portfolio side because I'm an artist and I want to show off my art. And then it brings you to this template section and wowie, there are a lot of templates. I'm almost overwhelmed, but I do want to go for a more simple style. Did I just see on the first page there is an Illustrator portfolio one, so I think I am just going to go along with that. I think front and center, we need an ant illustration. So I've got all of my favorites uploaded here and it just plugs them in. A few varieties of illustrations that I'm able to do right on the front of my website so people already know what I'm about. That's not my name. <laughs> Casey Golden. So let's see what they've got. That's the background. Ooh, that's actually kind of cute. I want you to know you are here for me. <laughs> All right. If I knew where I was clicking. So I definitely want a portfolio page. And I also want an FAQ page. Oopsie, not an F page. And I know you guys want to know all about me, so let's get an about page. Nope, there's already an about page, whoopsies. So let's rearrange these a little bit. Oh my God, look how cute that is. He's like, I'm falling. The about, so, oh, that is not me. Actually, first I'm gonna change my name, boop. Oopsie, that is not the right color. Oops, uh-oh, no. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so glad that you can do a control Z because I need that control Z. Now that I've got the base of my website done, I am starting to get that graphic design itch that I had back in school. It's been a while since I've done graphic design and I'm not a super fan of it, but now that I'm starting to do more design stuff, I am starting to get into this website making, so let's get decorating. But first, what the heck? That's not my name down there. And of course, we need a different picture, so. All right, let's talk about myself. All right, so I think our little bio is created. And it's a very simple page, but I like it. It speaks for itself. Let's move on to the portfolio. 
All right, so our images are done uploading and I'm just going to want to select all of them. <laughs> oh, now that's interesting. Ooh, oh. <laughs> So I think I finally have my portfolio page how I would like it. Not only do I have a lot of examples of my work, but when you hover over them, there's a title, a description, you can click them to expand and you can go to link, which takes you to the video of me drawing that illustration. So I think that's really fun and interactive. And you can just keep scrolling through all of my images in my portfolio. Next, we are going to move over to the shop section. We just go over here to the add element and choose store. There it is. All right, so manage your store, add products. Let's see what we've got here. So of course I'm going to need to add my masterpiece. You know, those socks I made earlier. All right, so I'm definitely not selling any of this. So we're just going to delete those. All right, we've got our little sock buddy here. The price, um, We'll go a thousand dollars. It's a masterpiece after all. All right. And I don't know how this works. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna go ahead and put the rest of our socks in the store really quick. We've got our products in our shop section here. Now I don't want them in that order. I want them, oh, uh oh, uh oh, what am I doing? So now I can actually check out with PayPal. That was so easy, I can't even believe it. All right, I am ready to work on the DIY crafts next. On the DIY craft page, I do want to put my cactus crafts and maybe some PDFs of the patterns here, so it's a little more easily accessible. All right, so we have our round felt cactus DIY video here, and I do need a title. I love how you can just drag and drop anything. It makes it very, very easy. Well, I was scrolling around to look at some dotted lines I could add for some sewing details and I found these banners and now I think I'm going to have to put a banner in here. I just gotta. All right, I think I have this simple design ready to go. The videos are there, the description's there, and of course the downloadable PDFs are ready to go. Let's move on to the contact page. This one should be pretty simple, though I do want the color to match the rest of my website, so I'm going to want to go with that light blue color. Though this image needs to change, huh? Maybe we should get an ant in here, huh? Oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> it has nothing to do with contact, but now we have a little ant walking on this page because why not? It's too cute. Great, it's beautiful. Moving on to the FAQ page. I believe they have something already ready to go. Wix FAQ, there you go. And we have my finished website. Of course, this is the homepage where you have a variety. Oh, you can like the photos. The homepage of my website has a variety of illustrations that show off my abilities. We have the about page that shows off my beautiful face and just a little blurb about me. The portfolio page, of course, has a nice variety of images. And of course, if you click them, you can go to that video and that is a pretty cool feature. The DIY crafts page where you have all of my cacti and a PDF to download the pattern, which is so convenient. My shop page, of course, where you can buy these wonderful masterpieces if you want them. An FAQ page where you can learn a little bit more about me and what I do and the contact page where if you have a question, you can easily ask me. Again, I just want to thank Wix for making this video possible and allowing me to make a website finally. I am very behind in my career. <laughs> Maybe this way I'll finally start applying to be a book illustrator, right? All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to check out wix.com to make your own art portfolio website. The link is in the description. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out my website that I made in this video. Bye, again.